Today, we're going deep into product design using Google Stitch and Claude Code and the Playwright MCP server inside of our test project, Linkberry. Hey, I'm Craig Hewitt. Welcome back to 100 Days of AI and our live SaaS build project in Linkberry. So in case you missed the last two videos, uh, we're doing a live project here day by day. Uh, and I'm showing you exactly what I'm doing here in kind of these recap episodes. And then I'm listing an unlisted episode uh, video in the description below where I'm actually doing a whole bunch of work and giving myself an hour every day to build a SaaS app and get to about 50K MRR. I think I can do it in about a year and you can join me live, right? So this is the recap episode. The live working session will be linked in the description below. It's an unlisted video, so you can't find it on YouTube. The only place you can find it is in the description, okay? So yesterday, we uh, got kind of the plan together for our app. So we built kind of an AI CTO and broke down the plan MD file and the task.md file. Turned out the task.md file was enormous. And so we had to separate it into four phases, which it was kind of separated anyhow, but it was giving us day by day breakdown of exactly what we do to build this app. And so I can pull up the task phase one document here inside of cursor. Let me make this big. And okay, so here's the task phase one, initial setup, did that, uh, got the app running. The next was authentication. I'll show you that, but that's running. Uh, I used an AI agent, uh, and I want to talk about how I'm doing that. Uh, and then I even did day three, which was the AI setup and everything. I'm not sure that this is right. Just as a bit of a detour, uh, I started using yesterday Claude Code on mobile and on web agents. And so this is a big uh, departure from a normal workflow where I'm working here in the IDE and talking to Claude directly on my computer. Claude code in the browser is just really different. And so what you see here is like this. So this is me setting up the AI integration on day three. So I just came in here and just said, complete day three AI integration setup from the task phase one.md file. That's this, right? Task one dot in, dot, uh, markdown file, complete this stuff. I was only able to do this because we created our AI CTO who broke down exactly how to build this thing uh, and really kind of, very specific detail. And I was able to give this one line prompt to Claude Code in the web as an agent. And then it pulled the code from GitHub, created a separate branch, did the stuff, came back, uh, I merged that branch, and I merged this branch, which was all of the authentication. So I said, begin the auth and login functionality. This includes sign up page login, password reset, build a test suite around these. Um, and make them pass. This is day two in the task file. Okay, so uh, yesterday worked in the working session and did some work. <laughs> I cheated a little bit on the go, but just, I mean, I just gave it this and it went away and it did its thing and about 30 minutes later, it was done. And so I just merged those. I don't really, I think the big shortcoming, the thing I'm gonna have to be aware of is I don't really know what good code is, right? Uh, and so I'm gonna have to really lean on the AI and Claude code to help me with that which I think is a good segue into something I worked on a little bit last night, which was this. So I was at my daughter's volleyball tournament yesterday and in between games, <laughs> just hanging out because they have like a break, like they have other teams play in between. I came to Claude and said, I'm a non-technical founder, so I don't know a lot about code security or technical best practices. As such, I'd like to create a few agents or slash commands that act as my technical advisor for this project. This includes, but is not limited to security testing, blah, 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 blah. Help me build these, right? And so I did that in this chat because it has the context of all of like the task and everything. Uh, so I ran out of tokens. Um, so that's why I ran this twice, but it, it did, it went away and it created these, uh, kind of, it kind of created a bit of a system prompt architecture. And then it created these seven slash commands. So test plan, architecture advice, performance check, database review, code review, deploy ready, and security ready. And so if we go into Claude code, we can see these here, architecture advice, code review, and we can look at the system prompts uh, and kind of the specs of these slash commands. So a slash command to me is like an on-demand agent. Uh, if I were to create agents, they would run whenever they needed to. That's how I differentiate them. If I'm wrong, please leave a comment below, but that's kind of how I see it. Uh, and so like I ran the security review slash command 
yesterday, and it found a handful, you know, it's good. It had like, these are critical, these are high, these are medium, and these are low priority. And so I had it fix, um, or you can see it down here. Uh, you know, you have these kind of different security issues, you should fix them or you should not. And I had them fix uh, some of these in a previous uh, bit that I was working on. So if you're non-technical like me and you're like, I don't really know, <laughs> you know, it's scary to say, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't think I have to know what I'm doing. I have to know how to ask the right questions and I have to have the right tools. Cloud Code is a really good tool, but Cloud Code is almost like a platform that has tools in it. And then I'm building special tools like this that will let me run very specialized tasks slash commands or agents inside of my project. Cool. Uh, okay, so that that's kind of caught up to where we, and then yesterday we did some marketing stuff. We built uh, autoresponders for the waitlist. So if you go to linkberry.ai, you can sign up for the waitlist. I highly encourage you to, just because you'll see the marketing side of things from there, in addition to what you see on the channel here. But if you wanna see how I'm doing marketing, much of it will be done on LinkedIn, not surprisingly, uh, as this is like a LinkedIn content tool, uh, and over email, because email is by far the best place to sell ever, okay? Uh, so if you sign up for the waitlist here, linkberry.ai, you'll see how I do marketing on email, okay? And we set that up in ConvertKit yesterday with, uh, we just have two emails so far, but Manus created for us a couple more, cool? Okay, so that's a recap of kind of where we are in the video yesterday, in the working session, and then me cheating a little bit using Claude Code on mobile, to go do stuff and come back. And so we have auth built and we have the AI integration, which is like the voice prompting. So Linkberry is a LinkedIn writing tool, which is gonna prompt you for input and context. So, hey, you know, what do you wanna talk about? Tell me a time where you're really challenged in work. What's your thought on AI in the workplace? How do you feel about remote work? Like, whatever, but it's just like, hey, you don't have to come up with ideas from scratch and you don't have to write at all. You just talk to it and it writes in your voice for you. That's where we are right now. What I'm feeling though, like if we look at our plan.md file or our tasks, let's see, close this, close this. If we look at our tasks, we're, we're done with this. And this is giving us uh, the voice profiler, the interview chat and the API route. Uh, what I'm a little worried with is, I mentioned this kind of concept of the tail wagging the dog. I'm worried that AI kind of has a thought of how they want to build this that's not what I want. And so we're gonna spend probably today and tomorrow making sure that I have very, very clearly specced out how I want this to behave and how I want this to work. Uh, we're gonna start on the front end uh, and then we're gonna go to the back end. And I did do that just because that's how I think, is like, hey, how do I want this to look? How do I want the screens to look? Uh, and we're gonna use Google Stitch for this. We did a video on Google Stitch before, really powerful uh, kind of wireframing and design tool, entirely free from Google. Uh, and we're gonna use that to map out the few pages that we're gonna have in the dashboard to collect context from the user, create uh, writing, uh, have them edit and approve it, and probably a couple other things, okay? So let's go over to Google Stitch and start doing some work. Okay, so here is Google Stitch. Did a whole video on Google Stitch previously, but kind of like the whole ethos of this part of the 100 Day of AI series, this is an actual application that we're building. So I think it just kind of means more here. Um, but you, I'll link the other video in the description below if you want to go watch it, but we're going to walk through this with a real live project. Okay, so you can design for web or mobile. We're doing for web and mm, we'll try this. So I want to make sure we get a lot of context. That's kind of the whole big thing. And so we have on our computer from Manus, a whole kind of like brief on what this tool is. And so I'm gonna upload that, but first I'm gonna spend a few minutes getting a really good prompt here. And so uh, Google Stitch can create up to six pages, screens, if you will. Uh, and so I wanna be really specific about what those are. I'm not gonna just kind of one shot this <laughs> into Super Whisper. I'm gonna take a few minutes, create a really good prompt here, and it should give this to us along with the file that we upload kind of right off the bat, okay? Okay, so I really wanted to spend a few minutes on this, uh, and so this is what we have. So we have, you know, go create a great design, and the five, I think, screens that we'll have it design are voice collection. So this is the real essence. So in Linkberry, you'll go, you create a profile, uh, and then you'll, the AI will interview you, and it will take both the message that you have there and just how you speak uh, to train it on how to create great content. Uh, and so that's this here. 
the second where will be a screen where the insights from that transcripted session will occur and the application will parse out and post ideas based on the content that the user recorded. Uh, and so this is like, imagine you, uh, you speak for five minutes and it's like, hey, cool, here are the four posts that I think we can get out of that. That's the idea here. A post editor, because we're not gonna one shot this and I think that a user will want to edit things a lot. Uh, screen four is a more general persona and profile screen for the user. The idea is that they would provide overall context of who the user is, what they stand for, what their personal brand is, what they wanna write about on LinkedIn. That's important. Uh, and then we'll use this all the time as we're calling the AI. And then examples and templates of LinkedIn posts that the user could upload. The application will have some of this as well, like a template library. Cool, so let's see what it does. I didn't upload the kind of overall plan file. Uh, that's a bummer, but uh, we'll see how it does. And if we need to add that additional context, we will. Just as a note, we're using experimental mode here in Google Stitch, which is using Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is kind of their powerhouse model. I'm on kind of the cheapest on my personal uh, my personal kind of work email. Uh, I'm on the cheapest plan, so I get rate limited out on Gemini 2.5 Pro pretty quickly. I don't really use it that much, but just you know, if you're in here hashing away at 2.5 Pro a lot, you'll get rate limited pretty quickly. You can just pick it back up tomorrow. And so if we do get rate limited here and it's like, hey, I finished two pages, but I can't finish the rest, I'll finish this tomorrow maybe. Uh, but I did wanna give some kind of description to what we're talking about here and some kind of visualization so that I can kind of see what we're thinking and I can feed that back into the tool, into Claude code for it to build. Because I think we're gonna really have to fine tune so, so like here we just, we have, this is all that it knows about with like the profile voice analyzer. Like if I look at the next task, like what are we supposed to be building today? Interview type selection, interview chat page, interview flow logic. Like um, it needs more insight from me than just this, I think. And so that's why we're building this. So let's see. Okay, so, you know, it has a way to record, that's cool. Uh, it has time, waiting for the transcript, recording files, and then generate LinkedIn post. Okay, um, generated post ideas, okay, that's cool. Uh, this is like the title of the session we just did, that's cool. Uh, these are post ideas that it has, I think that's cool. We can edit these posts, we can copy them, we can trash them, they have tags. Okay, that's fine. Uh, post editor, okay. Oh, it has a preview, that's smart, okay. Uh, my personal brand, this is what I stand for, LinkedIn writing goals, tone, cool, and pillars that we're writing about, that's really smart, okay. And post template library, that's really cool. So we're gonna seed this with a whole bunch of post templates and then it, it, they should be able to create their own. I like these, I like these. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm gonna, hmm, I'm gonna have these as reference. Hmm, let's see, do I wanna load these into here as like context or do I wanna see what Claude code comes up with? So here we're supposed to be doing text interview UI. Let's load it as context and just say, hey, these are thoughts. Like these are just thoughts. You don't have to do this, but this is something that you may, uh, you may think is important. Um, public source, where do we want this to live? App components. Uh, okay, I don't know where we want this to live. Let's ask Claude Code. I have some design inspiration and examples that I wanna create as an additional context area inside the application. Where would it be best for those to live? And in what format would you like those so that Claude Code can most easily reference them in building UI screens? Okay, so while it's thinking, so really the next few days we're building the actual UI of the tool. So this is gonna be the interview page. This is gonna be the audio recording and storage. Oh, cool, so we're actually gonna do the recording and then the content generation. So really over the next three days, the tool will work. And um, oh my goodness, it's given us a lot. For design inspiration and examples of Claude to reference, I recommend a design folder. Cool, that makes sense to me. Component.md. Okay, so it's gonna create the folder and then it will reference that. And then we'll just take these screenshots that we have here from Google Stitch and, uh, and load it in there. 
So I think this is, if, if we get here, this is a pretty good one shot. I'm sure we'll want to tweak this, but I'm, you know, uh, the way, the approach I'm taking in general is like, hey, let's get something together. And it would be pretty easy to, uh, to kind of futz with it later. I don't think it'll be too hard to, uh, to tweak things after the code has been written, which is actually contrary to how we build things at Castos. We get the design 100% locked down and then we build it. Uh, but you know, maybe this is a whole different kind of paradigm. Okay, so that's a wrap on things for today. I'm gonna keep working. If you wanna watch the working session, the link will be in the description below. It's an unlisted video, so you won't see it anywhere else on the channel. The only place you'll see it is in the description below. We're gonna keep building uh, the design and we're gonna complete at least day four, so the text interview and probably the audio interview, uh, rec actually doing the recording, uploading them to S3 and all those kinds of things. So I think we'll be able to tackle two of these today and then I'll probably release a Claude Code agent to build day six. So potentially by tomorrow, the application will be working. Okay, I'm Craig Hewitt. This is 100 Days of AI. I hope you're enjoying this new format. If you are, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And if you want to check out Linkberry, it's at linkberry.ai. Sign up for the waitlist. I'll be in touch there as, as things are available for you to try out.